Good day, uh, everybody. So today I'd like to show an uh, example, example of um, serial communications, right? Serial communications, um, right? Uh, with ESP32 to a computer. So I'm repeating um, a tutorial that I get it online. I'll show you later on. So the idea is that we have a uh, we have a UART to USB and then connected to port two of ESP thirty two and and we try to communicate between uh, USB uh, uh, UART to USB uh, from a computer and together with this uh, ESP thirty two. So we want to simulate right simulate this this scenario. <coughs> So from uh, Arduino web editor, right, I'm using web editor, and uh, Arduino web editor will be communicate right, directly to ESP32, but right, to the first uh, port, right, serial port one, and then the uh, using another software because serial terminal apps, right, uh, I am communicating to port two, right, port two serial port 2 of ESP32 so that we are able to transmit the data between so we are simulating sending data to a ESP32 right <coughs> so the idea is uh, we have uh, we have a sketch already download I'll share the sketch uh, later on and you may refer to the website right the website that I share here Right. This is not my code. Right. I'm repeating the exercise. So the code is available here. You can change whatever code you want. So the co the connection will be connecting to port number two, right? Port number two, which is pin 16 and 17. So port number one is here, right? Port number one is actually connected to the USB port, right? We are not using that because uh, we are connecting to. Uh, Arduino web editor right? that is used for serial monitoring so we have the option to uh, have this uh, uh, port serial port number two right? there's another one which is serial port number one we, we are not using it right now okay so look at the code right so we have declared uh, uh, port two which is pin 16 and 17 as uh, receive and transmit right? and then we declare uh, similar way a uh, very similar way as serial port right which is this is the port one uh, uh, port zero actually is port zero not port one and then we are using port two right uh, the configuration uh, you can you can adjust the configuration but I'm using the, the same configurations as uh, I have set it right in uh, in the com port right uh, to make sure that we have the COM port right uh, in device manager and this COM port right so uh, the COM6 COM6 is connecting to serial port 0 to this ESP32 and the COM5 is connected to um, serial port number 2 okay so we have uh, we have this port right so uh, just scan through very quickly this, uh, the code, right? So on the starting, we have this message, right? This this is the pin out for uh, port zero, and then we are reading, right? We are reading a character from port two, uh, which we send it from a uh, serial terminal uh, apps. So the serial terminal apps I'm using, I'm using is any serial terminal apps, right? So I configure serial terminal app as port 5, right? The communication uh, bot rate will be set as 9600 as defined, right? They must, they must match, right? So I connected it, right? Let's say I'm sending a, a word, right? Or a serial character, A, B, C, D, for example. Then I send it. <coughs> I'm sending A, B, C, D, right? And then uh, I, I could receive A, B, C, D, right, on, on uh, web, uh, Arduino web editor on the serial monitoring, right. The reason, 
the reason why I'm showing you the hex data is A B C D in 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 uh, uh, in ASCII code right, is represented in hex right. Every time the serial communication is going to send will be send one uh, one byte of data right. So uh, they are actually in bytes of data. So A B C D is 61, 62, 63, and 64 in hex. And then O D and O A is the uh, is the carriage return and the new line, right? Every time when we enter a text, right, it will be the serial terminal apps right, automatically at at the end of uh, of the characters uh, without 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 us right we knowing about this right <clears throat> so by detecting this right uh, new line and carriage returns we are able to put it into the new line right in the receive right in the receive name serial monitoring uh, now let's see right a new line a new line and a new line so this is my sharing thank you for watching bye bye